Do to do, do a little bit of Wolverine stuff. And, oh my god! Well then. Hey guys, what's up? Trees Aaron here. We are starting a new series called Dwarf vs. Zombies Weekly Recap. And uh, today we are going to be showing you the, uh, I believe it's what, zombie advancement? Yeah, that was it. Anyway, um, so this advancement obviously comes with more zombies. As you can see, there are a crap ton of zombies. But what you will soon notice is that they're not all players. That's right, they added AI zombies to Dwarf vs. Zombies. Minecraft crew decided to come in and make things interesting because it'll make the games a little shorter. But at the same time, we'll get a lot more kills, as you'll see later on in the video. Um, as you can see, procs are much more easy to get with this uh, AI zombies, but at the same time, uh, the score will only count for the um, players that are killed. So that'll only, that won't change the records or anything. You won't get paladins who will be getting like hundreds of thousands of more kills. No, it'll be more as though uh, if you kill a player, that's what will count. Um, although this is an update, so I'm not sure if they will ca continue to count or not. And uh, yeah. So as you can see, they are the zombies are pretty good on the AI. They're not too bad, but at the same time, um, there's a reason because the games are now shorter, but the kills are more frequent. As you can see, clusters of zombies equals much more procs in the area, and it's kind of get the kind of get the game going. Um, as you can see, uh, um, you can still be a creeper or a skeleton, but I'm assuming everyone wanted to try being a zombie because thought that was different. But it was just mostly an update on the. Um, zombie end. Um, as you can see, uh, you can still die pretty fast and as soon as you give it away you're going to be killing a lot more. And the players' names will be are more frequent and you can actually see them. So you can tell the difference between a uh, normal zombie and a player zombie. Alright, another uh, moving on rather. Uh, another thing you want to notice is that um, with bows as a skeleton uh, or a creeper, you can actually harm or actually kill an AI zombie. Now this is probably a temporary glitch for right now. Now I'm not sure if that's permanent or not. It doesn't really make a difference. But um, yeah, as you'll notice also that there are a lot of zombies just standing around and um, the AI isn't perfected yet, but it's trying to. Uh, as you can see, you see there's a whole grouping of them just standing there because there's not a player in sight and they're trying to reach one. Currently, they're trying to look for one, but they just can't find anyone, and uh, I'm sure that's going to be upgraded soon. Alright, a uh, video recap. AI zombies have been added. Obviously, that's the uh, recap of the uh, week. Um, AI zombies can kill or harm by cougar blasts or skeletal arrows. Now, that may be temporary. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, games are shorter and have more kills. It's kind of get the games moving along and uh, making the game more fun for everyone. And finally, I forgot to kind of say this in the video that AI causes zombies to be spawn near players. Um, it doesn't matter where they are, spawn or no. And it, um, they're kind of not aggressive always. They're kind of uh, off to the side. And uh, I'm sure this will be fixed as the uh, um, AI is advanced. And uh, moving on to uh, glitches and uh, notable hackers. So uh, my first glitch of the week um, is uh, me getting owned as a baby zombie, but as you can see, what happens when I click respawn is the guy, in the, as you'll see on the uh, list there, gets the kill, even though I've been killed for a long time. Now, um, the actual kill actually goes to the player and uh, gives procs much later, and I was notably killed in one hit. And this usually happens with me for baby zombies and creepers. And uh, that's been around for a while, and I hope they fix that soon. Anyway guys, moving on to Hackers of the Week. Um, this one is a Mark Kotos. I couldn't really pronounce his name, I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, he is a flying slash speed creeper um, and wolverine. And as you can see, he just flew off the side and uh, poured this, killed this poor innocent guy down below. He totally didn't expect it. And uh, shout out to that guy for uh, putting up with this crap though. Alright, final guy. His name is uh, John David Potter. I believe, and uh, he's been going around as a Wolverine, flying, and has incredible strength bonus, killing a bunch of players at night and during the day, and it's unfortunate, but uh, as you can see, he's flying right there, and uh, killed a lot of players, probably 90% of the players um, in the actual game, and it was a really quick game. I was uh, personally killed by him by being pushed off, but... Um, Anyway, guys, this has been uh, my first Dwarf vs. Zombies weekly recap, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I realized that in the video, uh, my sound started getting really static, and um, I want to apologize for that. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure if it's uh, 
either a headphones thing or a uh, rather speakers thing um, but I'm gonna try and improve on it this is just a first trial and I uh, really enjoy doing it and I hope you guys enjoy at Dwarf Zombies news um, I'm also starting a bunch of new series on a uh, um, building and uh, yeah by the time that's out it's probably already out but um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you guys next week